Dear Mr. Abbas, good to have you on Sensor and Test. What kind of product Panasonic is exhibiting at Rutronic Booth? Thank you very much for the opportunity. So we are presenting uh, our GridEye sensor, which is an infrared thermal imaging sensor uh, with 64 pixels. Uh, it comes in an SMD package and basically you can detect any body, any object or person which emits infrareds. Uh, it has a field of view of 60 degrees uh, with four part numbers depending on the design which the customer has. Um, and yes, you can detect more than one persons or objects in the field of view. Which applications Panasonic wants to address with GridEye? Uh, there are several applications that we can address uh, with the GridEye sensor, uh, but the three major applications which we want to address uh, are home appliance, which means you can use them in air conditioning units to regulate the temperature to detect where people are in the room. We can use them in microwaves also to regulate the temperature of the food. Then second major application I see is the ambient assisted living, which is uh, to make uh, living for old people smarter, which means you can detect if someone falls down in an apartment or a room, uh, the sensor can detect this, this fall and report it to some center or relatives. The third one, uh, also a big potential, is uh, home and building automation. So what you can do is um, uh, to save energy, you can see where people are, regulate the temperatures, regulate the lighting, air conditioning, heating. Why should a R&D designer consider GridEye for his new development? What is unique? Uh, there are several unique points that we have uh, for the grid eye sensor. So, for example, the first thing is uh, an R&D engineer would want to have something now which is uh, in the production process automatic. So, uh, we have other sensors in the market which you have to solder manually. For grid eye, it's an SMD package, so you can easily use reflow soldering uh, while production. Uh, another important point for GridEye is that uh, it's quite economical. If you see the same range of sensors in the market, uh, the price is quite low, which means it's uh, quite an advantage for, for customers to design in with a high quality. Uh, lastly, also what I can say, we have excellent software support for the sensor. So, you know, sensor alone can't do much. Uh, and we need really good software. And we have a lot of software available, which is all open source for the customers. They can download and use this for their development. Mr. Abba, thank you for your time and the qualified response. Enjoy the rest of the exhibition. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you.